What we've done down here is set up a stack of precariously balanced glasses, which are, I'm, I'm so sure they're going down. Now, the first thing I want to do, I, I put a blue gel on this flash, and actually I put a couple of blue gels, one stacked on top of the other, because if you look, this is already a warm color. So I want to get it to white, and then I want to get it to blue. That's going to take a couple of blue gels. Oh, somebody's firing me. We got a flash going off. Oh, that's you. Okay, thanks. I've got my slave set. I want to turn that off. The second thing I'm going to do is to put a snoot on my flash because I don't want the spill of the flash coming on the outsides of the glasses. I only want there to be pattern on the wall where I want it to be. And I can look and see if that's going to be fine, and I think it is. The next thing that I'm going to do is to check my exposure and see what my weird wall is looking like. I have no idea what this is going to look like. That's an important uh, distinction here. This should be off. Turning off my front flashes. Oh, it's looking cool. It's not very bright, though. So, oh, because I'm at 64th power. Yeah, there's that. OK, tell me if you can see this. Can you see a pattern in there? Yeah. So we're, we're in the ballpark. <laughs> now let's take a look at what we have. I'm shooting at, uh, oh yeah, cool. All right, let's go home. This is cool. <laughs> what I've done is put a pattern on the wall back there. And I'm going to open this. I'd like to shoot at maybe five, six, or four. Let's see what I got. Yeah, that's better. What I don't like is the pattern is actually big, like an internal pattern. I think the reason is I got my flash very close to the glasses. So I'm going to back my flash up and see if I can make the pattern kind of tighter that way. Yeah, it's looking neat. There's no way to tell what you're going to get. You just do it. It's like my wife says to my little kids, you get what you get and you don't have a fit. Never works out that way though. So let's kill our little half clamshell thing. And I've got my background light coming from that side. So I'm going to take my foreground light and make it come from this side. Can use the same chair we used before. Who, where, where's Ariane? Step right up. I've got a little bit of a warming filter on this light, but not much. I may go with more warming filter after I see it. What you're going to notice is I'm going to pull this flash in. So now instead of a 42 inch umbrella, give or take, I don't know if you can see this on tape, but I'm only lighting part of my umbrella. Can you see that? And I'm going to put it in nice and close. Since this light is so close, I don't need for it to be really big, and I'd rather control it and have it not hit that background back there. So you're going to be looking this, like, like your face, yeah, and the eyes towards me, face a little towards the light, eyes towards me. This umbrella, if I backed it all the way up, a uh, question, can I explain why I'm only lighting part of the umbrella? I can make a nice big broad light source, but it's going to have more spill to it. And I'll try it both ways. Since I'm coming in nice and close, I don't need a super big light source. Um, and, and Ariane's got nice, like, smooth skin, so I don't need to, to, like, do all the little tricks that you can do to make people look better. You know, if somebody's all, like, wrinkly and crusty, you're going to use a big soft light source to light up inside those wrinkles. You're not going to hit them with a grid spot, right? Right? Hopefully. Let's back it out a little bit. Now she's getting worried. And you're accomplishing that by adjusting how far the umbrella right. Remember, this flash is sending out a cone of light. So the closer I bring in the umbrella, the smaller the actual cone of light that's hitting the umbrella and shooting through it. Now, I have no idea if I'm going to be close. I'm starting it at 1 8th power. Let's see how close I am. And I'm shooting at f4.5. We'll make it 5 6. The first thing I'm going to do is shoot my background again. See what that's giving me. That's kind of cool. Shouldn't be so surprised at that. But. <laughs> Um, actually, I want to back your chair up just a little bit. 
Uh, no, I mean, I'm back it up away from the light. Not, not there. Not quite that much. A little bit this way. I need like a remote control. That's good. Have a seat. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> you totally futilely give up. And 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 rest. Rest. Kind of just rest your arms up there. I want to give you some place to. You know, one of the like eternal things with shooting pictures of people is what you do with their hands and their arms. So it's it's nice if they're actually holding something or what. But. Uh, Okay, my flash is a little bit hot, and by hot I mean a little bit too, too bright. So I think I'm just going to drop it down two thirds of a stop. See what that does. So now I'm at one eighth power on this flash minus two thirds of a stop. So I'm like one third of a stop above sixteenth power on the flash in the back. I probably have more power going through that. Yeah, I'm at a half power on this flash in the back, but remember, this light has to go through two blue gels because I'm blue gelling a wall that's already kind of a very, you know, warm beige. And I'm going through the glasses, which are going to eat up some light. So just, I kind of had a sense I'm going to need to shoot some light through there. And, I'm, and the, the, the process on getting to this exposure was to pump a decent amount of light through my filters and through the glass and have it hit the wall. And then I took a few pictures of the wall and adjusted my aperture until I was happy with what I, what, what I had as a, as a light level. Now that aperture happens to be 5.6. Now I go back to Ariane and I bring in the umbrella and I light her to 5.6 and everything comes together. I'm going to see exactly where that wall is hitting me at 5.6. Yeah, the wall is like one stop down from medium gray, so that's fine. I want a fairly low working aperture here because I want to be able to throw that wall out of focus some because I don't like the wallpaper pattern that's on it. Where's my little blinding light here just in case I need it? You know, it's completely up to you. So, <laughs> I'm mad because I'm not getting able to shoot my assignment. No, I don't know. Oh. On tape, she doesn't care about her assignment. Did you hear that, publisher right. or the examiner? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is working. No Austin Powers voice, though. Blink. No, 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 no. We can do a couple. You, know, you won't blink on all of them. Hey, somebody's shining a light on it. There you go. <laughs> now, I'm tilting my camera a little bit. Give me some... Uh, if I can either have, when I've got a, a, a homogeneous and homogeneous, a homogeneous background like this, I can either tell her to lean her head or I can just turn my camera. That's cool. It works. All right, deep breath. Turn your face a little towards the light if you would. There you go. All right, let's take a look at this. Okay, so here's my first look at the background. So I knew I was getting a pattern on the wall. Are we rolling, Bill? Here's my first look at the background, which is frame number 57. Now I start opening up my exposure. What I'm doing is trying to find what looks good on the background. If you notice, I've got the pattern of the wallpaper in focus here. Um, most of the time I'm checking this, I'm defocusing the wall because I want the wall to go out of focus. See, that is not, to me, as cool as this. That's my first shot with her. She's not quite exposed correctly, a little bit hot. Back to the background. And now I'm up to 63, and I'm starting to shoot pictures. I don't know if that's me in focus or I think that's me out of focus in my camera. I don't have enough light to focus by. There we go. Now as I turn my camera to the right, she moves to the left and I get a little bit more of a nice line to the picture. But again, look at, the, look at how subtle the background is and it's not just a gray seamless paper. I mean by shooting the, shooting the light through there you can get, you know, that, that kind of neat funky stuff happening through there. It's subtle, but to me that's way more interesting than a piece of paper or even uh, just, a, just a plain white wall. Again, that close-in light gives a high quality level to her skin. I could come in and put a fill card on the other side, but frankly, I like, I like the shadow side going dark this way. And there we go. And Ariane is off to get her uh, real estate assignment shot. She's staying with us till like just at the end of the day. <laughs>